Hi guys, uh, this is Jonathan Lambert with Maths and Stats, uh, and this video, another series, of, another series, uh, another video in our series of videos dealing with generating functions, uh, is going to look at sequence multiplication, uh, and in particular, given two sequences, uh, what does the product of them two sequences look like? In other words, what does the sequence that's generated from the product look like? And more importantly, uh, what is the generating function associated with the product of those two sequences? Uh, let me just maybe just present some familiar generating sequences and their generating functions that we've done up to this particular stage in, in previous videos. So let's just recall recall some previous some previous sequences sequences and their generating functions and their generating functions. And let's use them as test case for sequence multiplication and their generating functions. Okay. Uh, so in one of our earlier videos, and it was, which is our base sequence, we know that the constant sequence 1, 1, 1, 1, dot, 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 has an associated generating function that is simply 1 over 1 minus x. And we typically call that g, g1 of x, 1 representing the constants. That it's for a constant, it's a constant term. And we also had then the other sequence, which is a constant sequence of 2s, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, dot, 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 which is simply the constant sequence of ones with every term multiplied by two. And the generating function for that is simply two times the generating function of the constant sequence of ones. So it's two times one minus x. And we're saying that that is g2 of x from a symbol's perspective. Yet this g2 of x, g subscript 2 of x is the generating function and it's the notation for this particular generating function. And we can continue and you can see the argument. We have three, 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 dot, dot, dot the infinite sequence of, of constant terms, which are, is just three. And that's simply equal to three over one minus X, which we'll call G3, G3 of X. Uh, in a previous video, then we had a look at the natural numbers. We had, let's say one, two, three, four, dot, dot, dot. And uh, we did it two ways. We did it using sequence multiplication in our previous video. And in an earlier video, we used differentiation to help us to derive this particular this particular sequence. Uh, but with that said, its generating function is simply one over one over one minus x squared, and we usually symbolize that by g n of x to be the generating function of the natural numbers. Okay, and we can see that if we multiply each term by two. One will become two. Two will become four. Three will become six. Four will become eight. Okay. And what we'll end up with is we'll end up with the with the even the even integers or the even naturals, which is two, four, six, eight, dot dot dot, which is simply the natural numbers multiplied by two. So it's two times the generating function of the naturals, which gives us a two over one minus x squared, which is the generating function of let's say two times the naturals. Okay. Uh, and then another, maybe another one that we had, which was, let's say, all negative numbers, yeah? Okay, so mi minus one, minus one, minus one, minus one, dot, dot, dot. It's simply the constant sequence multiplied by minus one. So the generating function is minus one over one minus x. And that gives us g minus one of x. So just some familiar sequences and their associated generating functions. And what we're going to do, first of all, is we're just going to take... Let's take something interesting. Let's take the generating function, the constant generating function, the generate, the, let's take the sequence of constant ones, its generating function, and let's multiply that sequence by the natural numbers just to see, <clears throat> excuse me, just to see what we get, okay? So what we're going to do is we're going to take the sequence, which is one, 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 dot, 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 and we're going to multiply that against the naturals, uh, which is one, two, three, four, dot, 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 okay? Don't forget this has a power series. Its power series would be x to the zero plus x to the one plus x to the two plus x to the three plus dot, dot, dot. And the naturals have a power series, which is one x to the zero plus two x to the one plus three x squared plus four x cubed plus dot, dot, dot. And when we multiply these, well, the coefficient of the x zero term Okay, from a polynomial perspective, the coefficient of the x zero term 
is simply going to be, don't forget, it's going to be the, the two indexes have to add to zero, yeah? So it's going to be index zero times index zero, which is ones times one, okay? The constant term is going to be a constant times a constant, yeah? So it's the coefficients of the x zero terms uh, is going to be, so it's simply ones times one, which gives us, which gives us one, okay? So it's index zero. Now, plus the coefficient of the x1 term, don't forget, okay, is that it's going to be a term from the first sequence times a term from the 